Another really fun exercise to teach your dog is something we call paws up and paws off. And what you're doing is you're teaching them to put their feet up on a really elevated surface and then go off at your command. What you don't ever want to do is teach this in the kitchen because you don't want your dog to counter serve. And if you teach them how to get up on the kitchen counter, they'll start eating food off the counters. Um, Brooklyn has not done this before and he's really treat enthusiastic so this is going to be new for us but we're going to give it a shot. And for a shorter dog just use a smaller piece of furniture. Pause up. Good boy. Oh what a good smart dog. Pause off. Good boy. Pause up. Oh what an enthusiastic wonderful dog. Pause off. Good boy. Ah, 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 ah. Pause up. Good boy. Pause up. And if you really are ambitious, <laughs> for pause up. Pause up. Pause up. You just want to make sure your dog doesn't weigh more than you do. <laughs> but all of those are great for uh, spinal flexibility and working on back extension. Um, maybe not use treats that are so exciting for your dog, but it's a fun exercise to work on. I'm Leslie Gallagher. Thanks for watching.